and welcome back to Manisa's podcast. So today I'm going to talk about Christmas in Cleveland and also about uh, yoga and meditation together. Uh, why? Because I uh, just met that incredible new person who has um, uh, recently just uh, did an interview on a podcast and also um, has tons of video on martial arts and yoga and meditation and is going to be uh, with us uh, interview this week. So I'm just um, preparing you uh, guys uh, so uh, you get to um, to hear about his journey and how he's helping so many people. But not only that, but he's an author of so many books, uh, books that... Um, but uh, uh, for self healings and uh, self improvement and yoga and meditation. So uh, right now we are uh, in the cold uh, part of the season, so it's um, getting colder and colder every day, and we heat the bottle to a degree, and I think it's going to get colder and. Uh, it's snowing at times, but it can't stop right now. So we have a day. It's better. And um, so let's talk about yoga and meditation. So uh, the great thing about meditation is that it's uh, always allowing the mind to get empty and to rest and to find your vibe and your, your place of freedom, your place of Hi. peace. And uh, so when you put the two together in one station, you get even better results. And so just picture that. So imagine that you doing yoga and then you doing the meditation. Not as you just putting the meditation music in that one where you doing yoga. Yes, that would sound like that makes sense because a lot of time you would use that kind of music. Um, like noise music, meditation, chakra music, um, piano, any type of music that gets you into that trend. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about combining deep trance meditation and then practicing yoga as a form of relaxation. So you could get the maximum benefits of it. And for all the yogis, I think that's what they call it. Um, it's just exciting, you know, it's super exciting. So you can hear my voice probably right now. I'm like, oh, yoga, yeah, I love yoga. Um, I had times in my life where I was a yogi fanatic. Um, actually, just last year, I took advantage of a place where uh, uh, you just pay a monthly fee and I could just do uh, four or five I was a yoga a week, uh, and it was different type of yoga, and it was different teacher. So I was not paying much, and I was getting the maximum, and that's how I really developed. Uh, not where I developed my love, it's just that I got to acquire a different type of yoga. Because in the past, I was just kind of accustomed to the same um, uh, re- relaxed yoga, and now I learn about the. Uh, Shinatsa, uh, Yayuverda, uh, Hot Yoga, um, and different types. So um, I don't have a list, uh, but there's just so many uh, different ones. And um, my favorite one is the uh, old traditional yoga. So it's um, it's basically the type of uh, stretch that they used to do in the 80s and 90s and uh, different techniques. And then they just kind of implemented new sorts of techniques and just kind of bring more like sport fitness movement into the yoga and then different pose and then added some names. And um, and then they just made it new type of yoga. So anyway, it's just it's super cool to really get into it. So if you're not into... Um, yoga then you should really get into it and start with a relaxed one um you also have other ones who are like morning uh, wake up yoga and i would be your most relaxed type okay uh, let's get moving come on um 
that would be uh, perfect for a beginner, somebody who has never done it before. So he doesn't need uh, to have any type of experience. And uh, and you can just learn uh, the, the most easy way possible. So, um, so this time of the year, you might get stressed about buying enough gift for your children or you might just get stressed to buy enough gift for your co or for your loved ones, your friends, uh, or just to get the perfect Christmas party and you're just uh, overwhelmed and stressed. So uh, it will be the perfect time for you to try it out. So uh, make sure to come back and, um, and listen to the interview. I'll just make sure I let everybody know. You can always review some of my episodes on meditation, on self-hypnosis. And uh, you can ask me if you have any questions. And, um, and just relax. And, uh, and then I just um, enjoy. Uh, and I'm really sorry. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> right now, started this podcast at the wrong time. My son started to jump up and down and then he lost his butter he was doing a water flip and then I was basically following so I could not really stay on subject so I tried to do my best to get back so anyway you um, uh, basically um, you were to do like a relax your gum uh, in the dark and you're going to get in the trends of that meditation and the best uh, would be to do the 16 minutes so you can get the best of it and I'll also have lights uh, around, maybe a water fountain around, uh, just so you have nice sounds around you and um, just make sure there's uh, no noise around so you can take a uh, full breath and, and relax and not be worried about what's happening around you. And um, just um, do your best to get into it. Uh, you can do it alone. You can get a friend. You can just uh, try a place out there. Or maybe try with one-on-one. There's a lot of places, like healing places, like people who do chakra and stuff, who, who love to help you with this kind of stuff. Like if you're into Reiki, you could just say to them, I'd like to try a, a session with hot yoga or maybe relax yoga and meditation. Um, can you please show me the best way? Uh, you can just put some video online and try to do it yourself. Uh, my best suggestion would be to be in a complete dark, have a candle light up, have some incense, uh, or maybe just one of those really good candles that scent, uh, that uh, throw some really good smell around the room. And, uh, and have the volume high enough so you can get in the uh, trance meditation. And then just really implement, add a few stretches as you go and make sure that you have enough um, chai pose and chavezna time and in between so you can just really uh, relax uh, 100%. All right, so I hope everybody is getting ready for Christmas, and I'll see you next time.